Task Factory is a suite of SSIS components available from Pragmatic Works. In this video, we'll look at the Data Validation Transform. In past videos, we looked at using the various data cleansing transforms to clean up data coming into our SSIS package. What if you didn't want to clean that data? Instead, maybe you just want to validate the data, then take some action based upon that validity. To accomplish this, we can use the Data Validation Transform. For this demo, I've set up a very simple table with two columns, phone and email. Into that table I'm inserting four rows. In the first row, I have a valid phone number, which happens to be Pragmatic Works phone number, and a valid email address. In the next row, I have bad data for both the phone number and the email address. On the third row, I've got a bad phone number, but a good email address and on the last I reversed it to have a good phone number and a bad email address. So let's return to our package. Let's grab that data validation transform and drop it on the package. And we'll wire it up. Let's open it up. Here you can see I've got the columns listed and over here to the right I can pick what expression and this is a regular expression that I want to use to validate the data with. So I'll click on the plus sign, and my regular expression editor is opened, and I can pick what kind of regular expression I want to use. And you can see I've got a wide list here. I've got emails, phone numbers, dates, zip codes, dollar amounts, IP addresses, social security numbers, date times, a whole bunch of date time formats. I also have the European date time format and credit card validation. If I don't see any of these that I like, I can come here and click to add a new expression, or I can edit one of these existing expressions, and finally I can delete an expression if I decide I'm never going to use it, or maybe I've added it in error. Over on the right, for each one of these types, it shows me the kinds of things that are going to match my regular expression, and it shows me the kind of things that aren't going to match. I can even put data down here and test my expressions. Well, for the phone number, we'll scroll back up and we'll just pick phone number. And we'll click Add Validation to Column. Now we're going to come up here and we're going to repeat this for the email. And since email is the default one here at the top of the list, we can just click on Add Validation. And we'll come click on OK. And we'll make this a little wider. And as before, we're going to come down here, we're going to drag the terminator destination on, and we're going to hook it up. Now if you've seen these videos before, you're probably sick of hearing me talk about the terminator destination, but for any new folks that have come in, the terminator destination is simply a dead end for our data stream. It acts as a placeholder that our data just goes into and never escapes from, not unlike a black hole. It's great for doing development as you can put a terminator in and then test your existing code to the point where you've got it developed thus far. It's also great for these demonstrations because I can simply right click on it and add a data viewer so that you can see the output of what we're doing. So we'll click add and we'll just take the default grid click OK. And then we'll clean this up just slightly. There, I like for things to be easy to read. And let's run this. Okay, let's look at the output. We've got our input columns of phone and email. And then over here, our data validation transform has added two new columns. There's the phone is valid and the email is valid. These is valid fields return either a true or false, indicating if the data in the field is valid or not. So here in the first row, both the phone and email matched the regular expression pattern and both return true. On the second row, neither match the regular expression pattern and thus both return false. Here, one did not match our expression, therefore it's false, but my email address is valid so it returned true. And then we flip that on the last row with a valid phone number and a bad email address. Now, with this piece of information, you can then go into a conditional split and you can split your data flow out, determine, well, what do you want to do when the phone's bad or the email's bad? and so forth. 
So we'll finish that off and we'll click stop. So if your goal is to simply determine if a particular column is valid, then the data validation transform is perfect for your needs. To learn more about the data validation transform or any of the other controls within the Task Factory suite, please visit us at pragmaticworks.com.